I'm doing competition math, and in this problem we want to consider the following sequence of positive integers. So this is just my notation to abbreviate that n is a positive integer. If it is divisible by 3, that's what this notation means, then we replace our n with 3 over n. Otherwise, we replace n with n plus 10. It'll make sense in an example. So imagine that you start from 4, then we produce uh, 14 because it's not divisible by 3, then that's not divisible by 3, so we produce 24. That is divisible by 3, so we divide, but now it's not, so we go up to 18. That divides by 3, and that divides by 3, but that doesn't. And at this point, you can see that we're kind of in a cycle because the next number, this is divisible by 3, and we're going to get back to 4. And now here's the question. If we start with n equal to 100, then what is the result after 100 operations? Now, if you can't think of anything better to do, and I sure know I can't, then let's just compute some of this stuff. Although I guess I will say there is something I kind of know. I've seen problems like this a little bit before, and I do know that, like, you know, this division step tends to cut things down pretty fast, so it might feel a little dispiriting at first, but you can be a little bit confident that, uh, you know, things will cut down and cut down with not too many steps. So anyway, let's start from 100, do 110, 120, because of course nothing divides by 3 up to that point. This does divide by 3 and we get 40. Now it doesn't, so 50, 60, but then down to 20. Okay, now up to 30, down to 10. Oh, and then that's going to become 20, which becomes 30, which becomes 10, which becomes 20, and so on, right? You get into a little cycle like this. So now if you think about labeling, you know, counting out how many steps it takes you to get into the cycle, it takes you six steps just before you begin traversing the cycle. And so if you're right here after the sixth step, you still have another 94 steps that you need to go. Now, if you go 93 steps, that's, you know, like that's going in this cycle of three some number of times. We could calculate it if we wanted to, but we're not interested in that right now. We just know that every cycle of three basically counts for nothing. So we need to do 94. Doing 93 lands you right back here at 20. You do one more step after that, and the answer is 30. 